good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss a very important weapon to fight against a big enemy that is hypertension as we all know that in india as per one very robust epidemiological study it was found that 16 lakh indian died due to hypertension and related complications in the year 2016 so we are going to discuss about benedipin which is a novel calcium channel blocker that blocks three calcium channels l m and t type benedipin has a very high affinity for dihydropyridine binding site and what happen its vascular selectivity is almost 20 times that amlodipine has it causes very less reflex tachycardia because its blocking property to n and t type of calcium channel and we all know that by blocking n and t type of calcium channel actually we can inhibit the catecholamine release in the kidney it dilates both afferent and efferent arterioles leading to decrease in glomerular hypertension it increases the renal blood flow causes potent natriuretic action it was also shown to reduce the apoptosis of renal tubules and slows the progression of renal failure it also decreases proteinuria by inhibiting glomerular platelet derived growth factor benedipin is shown to reduce diabetic nephropathy it also protects endothelium and prevent endothelial dysfunction that generally occurs in different types of different spectrum of our diseases by specifically inhibiting the lipid peroxidation and superoxide dismutase and it also by this mechanism and another mechanism is nitric oxide synthase release that has been increased by this molecule it prevents atherosclerosis it acts like by this mechanism as there will be more nitric oxide so it can have a vasodilatory property it inhibits platelet aggregation coronary blood supply is increased in ischemic heart and ultimately that therefore the myocardial infarction occurrence will be slowing down as it prevents endothelial dysfunction and increase nitric oxide it prevents angina and it had been seen by one clinical study it was also significantly reduced the triglyceride levels due to its high free radical scavenging property and inhibition of lipid peroxidation and superoxide dismutase activity a very unique property because many of us ha have a confusion because many benedipin has a shorter uh, plasma staying property so half life is less but it has a very unique membrane approach and it was shown that benedipin remained in the resistance vessels like mesenteric artery even when there is no drug in the plasma level so it is thought that persistent of this state is actually contributing to the long lasting anti hypertensive effect so though the pharmacokinetically it remains very less duration 
that means at around eight hours in our body but it's half life the pharmacodynamic effect remains up to 24 hour and as we all know that when we are talking about blood pressure management the 24 hour action is very important and with that perspective too we can say benedipin can address 24 hour blood pressure lowering thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity to say a couple of words on benedipin thank you